As we age, we often notice changes in our body, and one of the more curious transformations is the way our body odor evolves. Have you ever wondered why your scent seems a little different now compared to when you were younger? Perhaps your favorite perfume no longer lasts as long, or you catch a whiff of something new and unfamiliar? Ladies, you're not imagining it. Our body odor changes over time, and the reasons behind it are far more fascinating than you might think. From shifting skin chemistry to the appearance of surprising compounds like 2-nonenal, there's a science behind why we smell the way we do. In this video, I'll break down 8 surprising facts about body odor in older women, and trust me, number 7 will change the way you think about your scent forever. Plus, I'll share some practical tips on how to stay fresh and confident at any age. Stick with me, because this information could change your approach to body care in ways you didn't expect. Let's begin with a truth that often flies under the radar. Your skin isn't just a passive outer layer, it's a living ecosystem that evolves with you. Imagine your skin when you were younger, perhaps in your teens or early 20s. Chances are, it might have been more on the oily side, constantly dealing with shiny foreheads, clogged pores, or the occasional breakout. This was thanks to your sebaceous glands, the small oil-producing factories embedded in your skin, working overtime to produce sebum. When you were younger, this might have felt like a curse, especially if you were battling acne or using blotting papers every few hours. But as the years go by, something changes. The aging process slows down oil production, and those sebaceous glands aren't as active as they once were. At first glance, this may sound like a relief. No more greasy T-zone or dealing with acne. But here's where it gets interesting. This reduction in oil production affects more than just how your skin feels. It influences the way you smell. The oil, or sebum, isn't just there to moisturize your skin. It also serves as a carrier for scent molecules. In your younger years, that generous layer of oil acted as a kind of canvas, holding on to your body's natural scent and amplifying the way fragrances, like your favorite perfume, mixed with your skin. Remember how a spritz of perfume used to last for hours? That was the oil working its magic. Now, with less oil on your skin, you may notice that the same perfume doesn't cling as long, or it might smell a little different, perhaps the notes fade faster than before. It's not just about perfume. Your skin is also home to a bustling community of bacteria, which play a significant role in body odor. These bacteria break down sweat and other compounds on your skin, creating the scent we associate with body odor. As oil production decreases, the environment on your skin changes. The bacteria that once thrived in oilier conditions begin to adapt to this drier, less oily surface. This shift can alter the smell of your body odor over time. In younger years, oilier skin lent a musky, earthy undertone to your natural scent. As oil production decreases, the scent can soften, sometimes taking on a lighter, sweeter, or even powdery quality, especially in older women. So if you've noticed that your signature fragrance from your 30s or 40s doesn't hit quite the same anymore, it's not just nostalgia playing tricks on you, it's your skin's chemistry evolving and adapting to this new chapter in your life. Now, let's dive into something even more surprising that might make you stop and think. The so-called, old person smell. Have you ever entered the home of an older relative and noticed a distinct scent in the air? It's not unpleasant, but it's definitely noticeable. Some describe it as stale, musty, or even waxy, while others detect hints of grassiness or something reminiscent of old books. It's easy to assume that this smell is a result of dusty curtains or aging furniture, but the truth is more personal. That scent is tied directly to the person themselves. Science supports this observation. Researchers have discovered a compound called 2-nonenal, often referred to as tonal, that begins to emerge in noticeable amounts around age 40 and increases as we get older. Unlike youthful body odor, which is mainly caused by bacteria breaking down sweat, 2-nonenal is a byproduct of oxidative stress. Oxidative stress occurs when the body breaks down fatty acids in the skin as cells age and repair themselves less efficiently. 
Here's where it gets even more intriguing. As we age, our skin naturally thins out, losing some of its youthful resilience. Thinner skin is less effective at neutralizing or absorbing compounds like 2-nonenal, causing it to linger on the skin's surface. Over time, this buildup of 2-nonenal can also seep into fabrics, including clothing, bedding, and furniture, giving older homes that characteristic scent. It's not dirt or neglect, it's simply the chemistry of aging at work. But before you start worrying, let me assure you that this is a perfectly normal part of the aging process, and there are ways to manage it. A simple yet powerful solution is to stay hydrated. Water helps flush out some of the oxidative byproducts, like 2-nonenal, from your system. Additionally, a diet rich in antioxidants, think green tea, citrus fruits, and leafy greens, can help combat oxidative stress and potentially reduce 2-nonenal production. Another tip? Try exfoliating your skin once or twice a week. Gentle exfoliation removes dead skin cells where compounds like 2-nonenal tend to linger, leaving your skin feeling fresher and lighter. Let's now address the impact of hormones on body odor, as they are the key players behind many bodily changes, including changes in scent. Women, in particular, have likely noticed changes in their scent at certain points in life, such as during pregnancy, menstruation, or menopause. Estrogen, in particular, plays a major role in how our body odor is perceived. When estrogen levels are high, during the fertile years or pregnancy, body odor tends to be milder and more balanced. The skin stays supple, sweat glands remain active, and the bacterial mix on your skin creates a scent that's soft and neutral. However, when estrogen levels dip, especially after menopause, the game changes. Drier skin becomes one of the most noticeable effects of this hormonal shift, and this dryness affects not just the surface of your skin but also the sweat glands themselves. While less sweat might sound like an odor control win, it's not that simple. The bacteria that once thrived in a sweatier, oilier environment start to adapt to the new, arid terrain, and their output changes. For some women, this means a scent that's a bit sharper or spicier, less floral, more intense. It can be subtle, but for some, it's noticeable enough to throw off their regular deodorant or body wash routine. If you've noticed changes in your body odor as you age, it might be time to rethink your daily hygiene routine. Switching to a pH-balanced body wash designed for mature skin could help. As we get older, our skin's natural pH shifts, becoming less acidic, which can make it harder for the skin to fend off odor-causing bacteria. A pH-balanced body wash can help restore and maintain your skin's natural acidity, keeping bacteria at bay. Look for body washes that include ingredients like lactic acid or citric acid, which support your skin's barrier while still allowing moisture retention. This, paired with a consistent cleansing routine, especially in areas prone to sweating, can help you stay fresher throughout the day. Along with changing your skincare routine, consider swapping synthetic fabrics for natural fibers. Materials like cotton, bamboo, and linen are breathable and moisture-wicking, keeping your skin cooler and reducing the conditions bacteria thrive in. Conversely, synthetic fabrics like polyester and nylon can trap sweat and heat against your skin, creating an environment perfect for odor-causing bacteria. Start small by switching your undershirts, socks, or pajamas to natural fabrics, and you'll likely notice a fresher feeling even by the end of a long day. Let's now touch on the unexpected way medications can impact body odor. Medications that you may be taking can alter how you smell, sometimes in subtle ways, due to their interaction with your body's chemistry. Common medications like blood pressure medications, antidepressants, and even diabetes drugs can change the composition of your sweat or alter its production, leading to a shift in body odor. For example, blood pressure medications can sometimes cause increased perspiration or change its makeup, resulting in a slightly metallic odor. Antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications may affect neurotransmitters like serotonin, influencing sweat production and potentially causing a stronger scent. Diabetes medications can cause a sweet, fruity odor due to the way the body processes glucose. 
and painkillers, especially opioids, may contribute to an earthy, musky scent. If you've recently started a new medication and noticed a change in your scent, don't hesitate to consult with your doctor. They may be able to adjust your dosage or suggest alternatives. In the meantime, staying hydrated and eating foods rich in water content, such as cucumbers and melons, can help flush out excess drug metabolites, potentially reducing any unwanted changes in body odor. Finally, let's talk about the role your diet plays in how you smell. You've likely heard the saying, you are what you eat, and when it comes to body odor, it couldn't be more accurate. Foods like garlic and onions, for instance, release sulfur compounds that don't just affect your breath. They're absorbed into your bloodstream and released through your sweat, leaving a distinct smell. Red meat, alcohol, and spicy foods can also intensify body odor, while leafy greens, citrus fruits, and herbs like mint and rosemary can help neutralize odors from within.